Semen analysis is an important test in the evaluation of male infertility. It is also used to confirm sterility after vasectomy. Semen analysis is performed to evaluate certain properties of semen, such as morphology and motility of spermatozoa, semen biochemistry, etc. And a number of pathologies can be identified by semen analysis. We will discuss about these pathologies at the end of this video. First let's see how to collect a semen sample properly. At first, the man is asked to abstain from sex for two to seven days before a semen sample is collected. This is to maximize the quantity of the ejaculate and to get a high concentration of sperm per ejaculate. Then semen is collected after masturbation into a sterile container. Semen analysis should be performed within an hour of sample collection and should be repeated in 12-week intervals on minimum of two separate samples. Now let's see what are the normal semen analysis findings in a normal individual. The normal volume of semen per ejaculate is 1.5 to 5 milliliters. And the normal color is whitish, opalescent, as you can see in this picture. Liquefaction completes within 30 minutes. Semen has a pH value around 7.2 to 8. Total number of sperms per ejaculate should be more than 39 million. And the normal sperm concentration should be more than 15 million per 1 milliliter of the ejaculate. Sperm vitality, or the percentage of live sperms should be more than 58%. And the percentage of morphologically normal spermatozoa should be more than 4%. In this image, you can see a morphologically normal sperm cell in the leftmost side. All the others are abnormally shaped spermatozoa. You can pause the video and go through this image. Total motility of the semen sample should be more than 40% in a normal individual. This includes both progressive and non-progressive spermatozoa. Progressive motility of the semen sample should be more than 32%. Fructus concentration of the semen sample should be more than 13 micromoles per liter and leukocyte content should be more than 1 million per 1 milliliter. Finally, let's see what are the pathological conditions that can be identified by semen analysis. Aspermia, where there is no ejaculate when masturbated. Hypospermia, or low ejaculate volume, usually less than 1.5 milliliters. Azospermia, or no sperm in the ejaculate. Cryptozospermia, or less than 1 million spermatozoa per 1 milliliter of the ejaculate. Oligospermia, or less than 15 million spermatozoa per 1 milliliter of the ejaculate. Asthenozospermia, where less than 32% of spermatozoa show progressive motility. Teratozospermia, or increased amorphous spermatozoa. And oligoastheno-teratozospermia, which is characterized by low concentration, insufficient motility, and increased amorphous spermatozoa.